Now, let's go through alkene. But of course, remember, I mentioned to you that there are three things to take note when you're doing organics. What are the three main points? You must always remember, when you study it, always look for formula and structure, followed by their physical property and their chemical property. So same thing for alkene, let's start with the formula and the structure. Now, what makes alkene so special? Well, it's none other than their double carbon bond. For alkene, they start with etene first. Etene itself is actually C2H4. What makes it so special? If I ask you to draw out the chemical formula of etene, you know that it's a covalent bond, so it's C2. So I will draw one carbon. Alright, same thing. Share with another carbon. Oops, I draw a little bit bigger. Okay, uh, but never mind. Alright, now, and because it's C2H4, carbon itself got four electrons at the outer shell. Here we have two, I have two more to go. So I put one here and one here. Alright, and one here and one here. So you notice that this is your H. This is my H, and this is my H, and this is my H here. Okay, like I mentioned, many of the time when we are drawing organic, they don't need you to draw all the uh, shells out, right? So basically, you have to clean away the inner shell. So I'm going to clean away the inner shell, all right? Let me clean away the inner shell here. All right, as you can see over here. Now, and I also mentioned that they will be represented by lines, right? So, it will look something like this. Two lines because each of them share a pair of electrons. Can you all see? Good, nice work, right? Okay, and one more down. But of course, you don't show the electrons when you drew it, so it will look something like this. This is your etene. Okay, so the name may still remember. Now you understand why is it that there's no methene. Because you can't form a double bond by yourself. You need to have a two carbon. So two carbon, they will form a double carbon bond. A CC double bond. So you start with etene. The structure will look like this. C2H4. Monkey E, proper, propene. P-R-O-P-E-N-E. -E. Because E-N-E, E-N-E, E-N-E. Now, same thing. One, two, three. But... What makes alkene so special is their double carbon bond, CC double bond. So, I need to insert the double bond here. But does it matter which position I put the double bond? Well, it doesn't. I can put it here or I can put it behind, alright? But, but bear in mind, okay, this is not an equal sign. So, those of you that are watching, some of you say, hey, how come got equal sign? Hey, I told you. The line represents a pair share of electrons. So they are sharing two. There are two pair sharing of electrons. Okay. So over here, two. So how many more to go? There are two more because one carbon will share four electrons. So one, two, three, four. H. H. One, two, three. So one more H. One here. One, two, three. Okay. H. 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 So this is propene. The formula will be C3H. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. C3H6. Some of you will think, Ms. Alina, you made a mistake here. No, 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 no. Okay, draw your attention, eyes on this part. Can you count? 1, 2, 3, 4. It's exactly 4. So I am correct. Same thing here. 1, Two, three, four. So your eyes will be focusing on that carbon itself and you count the number of C. 
uh, number of bonds, not C, number of, of bonds, okay? So same thing, for this carbon here, let's count the number of bonds. One, two, three, and four. All right. Now, eating propene. Monkey eat proper butter. So, bill, okay, bill, teen. Okay, same thing. All right, let's draw the number of carbon. So, there are four C here. Okay, because I don't have space, okay, so I'm going to draw it at this part. Draw a little smaller. One, two, three, four. Is it too small? Okay. Now, doesn't matter where the double bond is. Like I say, it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to draw it here. So, same thing. I'm going to extend out the line. All right? One, two, H, H. One, two, three. One more H. One, two, one, two. H, H. Here, got one. How many more to go? Three. One, two, three. H, H, H. Let's count. C, four, H. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, four, H, eight. And the general formula is none other than CNH2N. Does it look like a number pattern now? So, did you get this part?